trying to get more ladies. What, I don't understand what you mean by do you're trying to get more ladies involved. Uh, I don't play with girl streamers, man. Especially in the position that I'm I'm in right now, dude. Clear now, the last thing I need is any of that garbage, dude, floating around. I was referring to the drama and stupid YouTube videos that would be created. This is exactly what happened. I play with another girl streamer. A joke would be made. A giggle would happen. And then this is and then this is the YouTube video. Ready? Ninja flirting with so and so. Jake Osti angry. A video like that would be up in less than ten minutes. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. That's all it is. Two weeks later. <laughs> It probably won't come as a surprise to anyone to hear that Ninja's been in the headlines again recently. Though to be honest, with all these clickbait videos talking about every single thing Ninja does on a daily basis, I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if the latest news article was a theory on what spicy curry he ate, purely from the sound of a toilet flush in the background of one of his streams. Seriously though, back at the end of July, Ninja commented on a live stream how he doesn't stream with women because he knows that anything could be taken out of context. A few weeks later, this article by Polygon emerges from an apparent interview they had with the streamer. Ninja explains his choice not to stream with female gamers. A more suitable title for this post would be Ninja explains his choice not to stream with female gamers. Here's how we try to undermine him even though we have no idea what it's like to be the most followed person on Twitch. So off the bat, Polygon instantly call Ninja's comment an edict. How is that remotely accurate? Polygon say themselves that they spoke to Ninja about this at a recent Samsung event. So how could he be declaring it as anything other than a comment? How is him stating his own personal choice to not stream with women, the same as him demanding others to do the same. And they state here that this edict may be surprising to hear, but the only reason it's remotely surprising is because Polygon have said this themselves. They further continue their hyperbolic language by claiming Ninja emphatically proclaims, I don't play with female gamers. I know I may seem like I'm nitpicking here, but we need to acknowledge that there is an inherent bias in this article. Before quoting any reasoning Ninja had, Polygon already gave their own version of the story. To me, it's it seems like Polygon are deliberately trying to frame the story in a way that makes the situation seem silly or a non-issue, and they're completely dismissive of the unfortunate real harassment that Ninja and other streamers struggle to avoid. Polygon go on to quote Ninja as saying, If I have one conversation with one female streamer where we're playing with one another, and even if there's a hint of flirting, that is going to be taken and going to be put on every single video and be clickbait forever. Which I think most people who watch streamers would agree is an accurate representation of what would happen. Yes, it's 2018 and we all know men and women can be friends, but that doesn't mean that there aren't people, kids especially, who will continue to ship random people together or ask questions about it. And the thing is, it's okay when people in question are single and aren't upset or offended at the situation, but Ninja is married and clearly isn't comfortable with this community behaviour, and any sort of inappropriate rumours could have some serious negative repercussions for him and his family. There's some truth to the idea that flirting can lead to YouTube clickbait and invasive questions. Some is a bit of an understatement, a very f ignorant understatement that was clearly used to undermine Ninja even more. The post follows with a clip of Ninja asking fellow streamer Myth about what's been going on with him and a female streamer called Pokimane. What's going on with you and this, uh, this girl you're playing with all the time? Who? <laughs> Pokey? Absolutely nothing, my man. You need to start a relationship with her, move in, and then have like stream schedules that kind of overlap a little, but also don't. Yeah. So that when like she's free and when you're free, you guys can get food for one another, and there's your food problem solved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the article describes this clip as Fans assume Twitch streamers are in a relationship just as often as they speculate on their marital status, and that apparently includes Blevins, who used his mega platform to further perpetuate that rumor. It's pretty obvious that this was put here to try and be a counter to Ninja's original opinion, as if to call him out on hypocrisy. Yet any half-brain knows that Ninja and Myth are basically mates. Ninja even turns his original question into a joke because he realises Myth isn't comfortable for God's sake. Honestly, it wasn't until I started researching this video that I realised the extent of how awful the clickbait videos Ninja references are, with many twisting and exaggerating comments he's made on streams. The guy is right! Look at these comments. These are kids who don't know any better, and these kind of channels are deliberately taking advantage of their naivety for view books. And what makes matters worse is that none of these examples I've shown here are ever mentioned by Polygon. Ninja's example with Myth is the only one mentioned on purpose. Further down the post, the subject takes a sharp turn to how hard women have it on Twitch, which itself is a beautiful metaphoric irony, considering it's mainly little boys who have it hard watching women on Twitch. In contrast to the reality of being a woman on Twitch, 
bitch. Levin's choice to draw a line feels like a conservative gesture. Seriously? Is this the who is more oppressed Olympics now? This is such a narrow mindset from Polygon that instead of acknowledging yes, even the most popular male streamers have to deal with unwanted harassment, they ultimately dismiss that possibility and all of Ninja's comments. How are Ninja's warranted concerns of online harassment invalidated by the fact there are female streamers who face abuse too? Ninja isn't saying that he's the only one who faces harassment, and he doesn't dwell or try to garner up pity for how hard his life is, he simply commented on a way in which he avoids any added controversy. Now unfortunately, this article was clearly written by someone with speech skill 100, and this was an obvious attempt to form opinions in people's heads before readers naturally get a chance to, which is exactly my next point. Because Polygon is relatively seen as a reputable source of news, it can sometimes be commonplace for other YouTube channels to take this information and instantly back up every point Polygon made, no matter how harsh that assumption may be. I'd like to use this discussion from the know as an example of a channel that did exactly this. Now I don't really watch Ninja, but I do respect his choice nonetheless. What I don't respect is a channel I'm subscribed to for gaming news, uploading a rambling 12 minute video dissecting the bare couple of sentences Ninja said in this article. Even if the video is under the impression of being a quote discussion, nothing about the YouTube title states this, and the audience didn't seem to like this approach either. Usually the no have fairly decent ratings on their content, so the fact this video's ratings are only 27% positive during the time of this recording, well, you'll see why now. The overall video is very dragged to say the least, and if you read the Polygon article, this adds nothing apart from a bunch of useless examples given by the hosts. Yeah, I feel like this is the that counter argument I frequently hear, you know, when we talk about addressing sexual harassment in the workplace. Yes. This is yes. the, the terrible knee-jerk reaction you hear, it's like, well, I'm just not going to hire women then. It's like, how do you say, not, not hiring a woman is not going to solve the, the, the issue. Now, he is right to say it wouldn't fix the issue Ninja has. Yes, there will always be rumours being made, being the most followed person on Twitch, but Ninja's point isn't saying that it will get rid of the problem. It just lowers the chances of people misinterpreting future interactions he has with female gamers. Honestly, there's nothing he can do to fix the issue. So can you blame Ninja for trying to minimalise the amount of drama in his life? Yeah, I feel like this is the that counter-argument I frequently hear, you know, when we talk about sexual harassment in the workplace. Now I'm all for using examples to help reinforce a point, but this one isn't really valid. This may have just been a poor choice to compare in my opinion, but I don't really think a Fortnite live streamer not playing with women to suppress rumours is at all similar to an employer refusing to hire women in case of harassment claims. People, I feel like people who say that typically need to fix their own behaviour. Also, blaming it on behaviour is a terrible example when Ninja's behaviour isn't the problem at hand. It's actually the behaviour of third parties who creates this kind of toxic environment. They continue their conversation by basically mocking Ninja. There's kind of a couple of assumptions he's making too, like, I'm so irresistible, like, there's gonna be some sexual tension, or, or, uh, uh, I just can't, like, control myself around, around women, or- The only person who ever made this assumption was this guy right here. He tries to make out, like, we the viewers should see it this way too. But nowhere is Ninja accusing women of flirting with him, and he hasn't said once he wouldn't be able to stop himself if he played with them. Apparently Ninja can't even take precautions to ensure there isn't any flirting without being accused here of flirting with women anyway. It's almost that, um, the argument of when Harry met Sally, like, men and women can't be friends. Mm. I have nothing against female streamers, dude. In fact, like, there are some amazing ones out there. After this, another attempt of a counter-argument this guy has against Ninja is that he plays Destiny 2 with a woman, and for him, it isn't a problem. One of my best gaming friends, uh, we, we play, we don't stream, but we, like, play Destiny 2, and, like, it's not... It's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Our conversations center around destiny. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make this personal, my dude, but you don't exactly have millions of fans watching your streams or have Twitch thoughts waiting at your door in hopes of exposure. It's no secret that a lot of people always try to relate news back to themselves, but this isn't really comparable considering one action is a hobby and neither is a profession. I think the biggest reason I'm disappointed felt this could be a teaching moment yes. for his younger viewers. So their logic is because Ninja's so popular, he has to actively teach people how to act? I don't know why so many people think because Ninja is so popular he should be a somewhat teacher to his fans. Taking responsibility and having good morals are one thing, but come on guys, he's streaming on Twitch, not raising children. If Ninja has such an impressionable audience, why is him trying to stop something negative happening being made out like it's such a bad thing? And I guarantee, if Ninja did start playing with women and something bad happened, you know that these kind of sources would blame him for that too. God, I feel like out of every 
everyone on this channel, they could have got someone more educated on internet culture. So in order to avoid trouble, just avoid them unless you're actually interested in them? Like, I don't know, the, the message gets confusing at that point. There was never a message. You see what Polygon have done to these poor white knight f**ks? You can hear the Polygon in this video so bad, and the only people trying to get any message out of this crap article are the people who have nothing better to do than cry at opinions that don't match their own. Polygon deliberately made this article to give the assumption to gullible readers that this was a massive statement by Ninja, but it's just not. If you take what Ninja said out of context, yes, Hearing Ninja refuses to play with women sounds bad when you don't know any of the motivations behind it. This feels almost like a re-reading of the original article at some times. I mean, even here they copy Polygon's politics quote. And there's been like a couple of cases of this. I mean, most famously Mike Pence, mm -hmm. uh, our mm -hmm. vice president, said he will not have dinner with anyone who's not his wife. Uh, I don't... It, it just seems like... I, I, again, I, I, I th It just seems like you're making all this shit up and actually have no idea what you're talking about. Now this video is of course 12 minutes long, give or take, and if I were to comment on everything they said, we'd be going in circles forever. Right, and this wasn't just some, like, throwaway comment. Hold up. Yeah, I know sometimes I talk about sensitive topics and like, I know like, okay, like, what I just said is 100% gonna be in an article tomorrow, like, I know that. This is one of those things where I thought it was just gonna be like a, like, there's just no way. This is gonna be great. Was poten it is potentially a teachable moment that has gone off the rails. It's like, what are you talking? What are you talking about? In general, it's very clear that there's been no research on the topic apart from the one Polygon article, which all these lame excuses come from. And Ninja even commented in a live stream about this article days before this discussion video was posted, along with a statement on Twitter. So it's not like there wasn't an opportunity for fair discussion. They just didn't do any research. Give Ninja a break, man. He's already got Ligma as it is. You're kind of leaving out an entire community, you know, 51% of the population. So what do we, I don't know, how, what's a way to like get past this? There's nothing to get past. Ninja hasn't created a ban on anything or public service in that. Oh God, I'm repeating myself again. Do you see what this video is doing? I mean, we just talk about it, I guess, and encourage other people who stream to stream with people indiscriminately of gender. Oh. Please don't throw in that Ninja's discriminating now. Maybe I'm an old man, I don't understand. <laughs> Should have probably got someone else to talk about how Ninja's controversial policy affects streamers then. He didn't want the in to get the internet talking, because people are gonna pick up on what- But that's true, isn't that kind of the price you play for being a public figure? Guess what, the internet's talking. Right! <laughs> I mean, it, it, it. And they shouldn't be. Just because he's a public figure doesn't make him any less of a person, and if Ninja wants to deal with potential rumors with this method, fuck it, let him. I shouldn't even be making this video in the first place, but silly sausages like this motivate me to, because it's giving such a terrible image to streamers and celebrities alike that it should be something people deal with just because they're popular. This is the same logic used to justify celebrities being stalked by paparazzi all the time, and it shouldn't be something that's just accepted. What I also found confusing about near the end of this video too, is that this guy basically just says, who cares? Ooh, he likes her. That feels like such a like elementary school level. Right. Like, who cares? Right. Who ca okay. I'd like to imagine his wife cares, probably the rest of his family, and probably Ninja himself. If this is really now a topic of who cares, it really makes me question why this response video even exists if the topic doesn't really matter. Ninja didn't make the decision to please the world, and that's what people are forgetting. And making the comments that this whole situation is elementary is probably the one opinion in this video that's correct. Who likes who is childish. And that's the point Ninja's making. These are elementary kids who find this entertaining, but that doesn't mean it can't affect his reputation or cause any negative backlash on his career and family. He, I mean, it's not, men aren't only attracted to women, he could conceivably be attracted to dudes as well. Right, and right. whatever. <laughs> Ninja might be gay, everyone. I, I, th I think I give up with this video now. The No didn't really need to create this video. It's heavily biased, barely informative, and straight up lazy and disrespectful to Ninja's real intentions. It's a perfect reflection of the Polygon article. Ninja can't even answer a small question in a live stream without it being hailed as the corrupt 11th commandment. Give this poor guy a break. Your boy just wants to play Fortnite and keep his family safe. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's stop trying to give a plot to every celebrity opinion. It's just 
isn't needed. Ninja videos aren't really my cup of tea, and personally, I'm not really bothered who he does or doesn't stream with, but I didn't think it was fair that a reputable channel can scrutinise the crap out of Ninja's comments when the video is quite literally doing the thing Ninja is complaining about. By taking his words out of context, the no have proven why Ninja and other public figures have to take precautions to ensure their actions aren't twisted. This could have been a valuable discussion if the no had have actually discussed the toxic media culture that people like Ninja are protecting themselves from, and empathise with the situation they're put in, instead of insinuating it's an occupational hazard. Now I'd like to say I have nothing personally against the no, in fact I've been subscribed for years, but they should have done a bit of actual research instead of basing an entire video from one very biased source. But of course, the no aren't the only channel guilty of this kind of lazy reporting. Tons of channels do this because it's a hell of a lot easier to simply refresh news websites and copy what they say instead of supplying any original content besides low effort comments. So I take what these businesses say with a pinch of salt. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be appreciated, and if you want to support me further, please consider my Patreon below. Because of the support over there, I was able to afford a new Elgato HD60, so all gameplay you'll see from now on will be in glorious 60 FPS. So a big shout out to everyone on the screen right now who's already getting access to my Patreon content. Tell me if you care at all about this news in the comment section below, and drop a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you later, love you all. Uh <laughs>